Welcome to the EA Afternoon Minute. What a weekend it has been. And I have so much to tell you. But first, I'm going to skip right ahead and start with the sports because our cricket and rugby boys this weekend. Wow. The Springboks punished the Wallabies this Saturday in Port Elizabeth, beating them 23-12. Turns out that the Springboks have a record of going undefeated at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. The Aussies have their own record of being beaten. This is the sixth time in a row being beaten in South Africa. This win comes on the heels of their other win over the All Blacks not too long ago. And you know, hats off to the team, hats off to Captain Zia Kulisi and of course the shining star of the match, Apiwe Gyanki, who wasted no time in putting South Africa on the scoreboard. He literally wasted no time. He scored the first try in the first 30 seconds. That is impressive stuff. Apiwe. Hats off. Well done. Now for our other boys, the Proteas. They beat Zimbabwe yesterday at the Diamond Oval in Kimberley. At 117 all out, this was the lowest score that Zimbabwe has scored in the last 39 ODIs. And in politics, Patricia Delo, who is still the Cape Town Mayor, vowed that she was going to serve until her very last, until the very last day of her reign, and that is exactly what she's doing. She spoke at the Accountability Roadshow yesterday at the Civic Centre, highlighting her focus on the issues of crime, gangsterism and housing, saying that government should act with urgency in these matters. She had three meetings in the last week in which she addressed the residents of areas such as Inuza Moyetu and Kensington, among others. And there was one more meeting today, actually. This woman is on fire. This girl is on fire, fire, fire. It's Patricia. Oh. Statistics by the barometer say that the mother city, out of all the other main metros in South Africa, has the best municipality. Voters took into consideration service delivery, political confidence, as well as the overall state of the city when they were voting. And Cape Town scored 65.2. Cape Town got 65.2. And in second place is Port Elizabeth with 61.9. Jetting off to the concrete jungle where dreams are made of, some of our local celebs and who's who's were at the Global Citizen uh, festival in New York this past weekend. Your girl Brie introduced the vibrant Shoma Josie onto stage who gave the audience a taste of what to expect when the festival makes its way to South Africa in December. And that's all we have for you today friends but check us again on Wednesday for some more news at around noon. Spread the word.